Did you know that Alaska and Hawaii are like two siblings who couldn't be more different, yet share an unbreakable bond? Alaska, the largest state in the U.S., is home to breathtaking glaciers, stunning national parks, and unique wildlife such as grizzly bears and moose. On the other hand, Hawaii, the only island state, boasts of sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and a rich Polynesian culture that is unlike anything else in the U.S. While Alaska may seem like a winter wonderland and Hawaii like a tropical paradise, both states have a deep history that is ingrained in their unique cultures. In today's video, we will explore the rich histories of Alaska and Hawaii, delve into why they became part of the U.S., and discuss their important roles in the country today. So sit back, relax, and let's take a journey through the fascinating histories of Alaska and Hawaii. But before we start, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected. So without further ado, let's get started. Did you know that Alaska is so big it could fit Texas, California, and Montana all within its borders? That's huge! Alaska is the largest state in the United States by land area, and it is located in the far northwestern region of North America. The state was inhabited by indigenous people for thousands of years before the arrival of Russian explorers in the 18th century. The first recorded European contact with Alaska was in 1741, when Vitus Bering led a Russian expedition to the area. The Russians established trading posts and settlements in Alaska, which they called Russian America. In 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million. At the time, the purchase was widely criticized as a waste of money, as many people believed that Alaska had no value. However, the discovery of gold in the late 19th century and the Klondike Gold Rush in 1896 brought tens of thousands of people to Alaska, and the territory became a state in 1959. Today, Alaska has a population of approximately 730,000 people, and it is the least densely populated state in the U.S. From its ancient Polynesian roots to its modern-day status as a tropical paradise and popular tourist destination, Hawaii has a rich and diverse history that has shaped its unique culture and way of life. For over a thousand years, Hawaii was inhabited by Polynesian settlers who developed their own distinct customs, traditions, and language. The early Hawaiian society was organized around a complex system of chiefs and priests, and the people lived in harmony with nature worshiping the gods of the land and sea. In 1778, Captain James Cook arrived in Hawaii, marking the beginning of a new era in Hawaiian history. The arrival of European and American explorers and traders brought new technologies, ideas, and diseases to the islands, ultimately leading to the downfall of the Hawaiian monarchy and its annexation by the United States in 1898. Today, Hawaii is renowned for its stunning natural beauty warm and friendly people, and unique blend of cultures. Whether you're soaking up the sun on a sandy beach, hiking through lush rainforest, or indulging in some delicious Hawaiian cuisine, the spirit of aloha is sure to captivate and inspire you. Today, Hawaii has a population of approximately 1.4 million people, and it is the 40th most populous state in the U.S. Have you ever wondered why two of the most geographically isolated states in the U.S. are part of the country? Well, wonder no more as we explore the fascinating history of how Alaska and Hawaii became part of the United States. Let's start with Alaska, the largest state in the U.S. by land area, located in the far northwestern region of North America. Before the arrival of Russian explorers in the 18th century, Alaska was inhabited by indigenous people for thousands of years. The first recorded European contact with Alaska was in 1741, when Vitus Bering led a Russian expedition to the area. The Russians established trading posts and settlements in Alaska, which they called Russian America. In 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million. However, the purchase was widely criticized as a waste of money, as many people believed that Alaska had no value. It wasn't until the late 19th century when gold was discovered in Alaska that the territory became a hub for tens of thousands of people during the Klondike Gold Rush in 1896. 
and later on, the discovery of oil and gas brought significant economic growth and development to the state. Finally, Alaska became the 49th state to join the United States in 1959. Now let's turn our attention to Hawaii, a group of volcanic islands located in the Pacific Ocean. Before the arrival of Europeans, Hawaii was home to indigenous Polynesian people who had settled there for centuries. In 1778, British explorer Captain James Cook became the first European to visit Hawaii. In the following years, European and American traders, missionaries, and whalers visited the islands, bringing diseases and conflict with them. In 1893, American business interests in Hawaii overthrew the Hawaiian monarchy and established a provisional government. A few years later, in 1898, Hawaii was officially annexed by the United States, becoming the 50th state in 1959. So why did the United States acquire Alaska and Hawaii? In both cases, the U.S. government sought to expand its territory and gain access to resources and markets. The purchase of Alaska provided the United States with valuable natural resources, including gold, oil, and gas, as well as a strategic location for military operations during the Cold War. Hawaii was seen as a key location in the Pacific, providing the U.S. with a strategic military outpost and a gateway to trade with Asia. Today, both Alaska and Hawaii are important parts of the United States, each with its unique history and cultural significance. The native populations of Alaska and Hawaii have a long and complex history that predates the arrival of Europeans. The indigenous peoples of Alaska, such as the Inupiat, Yupik, and Aleut people, have lived in the region for thousands of years and have developed a rich culture that is closely tied to the land and the sea. Many native Alaskans continue to rely on subsistence hunting and fishing, and their way of life is closely tied to the natural environment. The native Hawaiian people also have a rich cultural heritage that is closely tied to the land and the sea. The Hawaiian language, music, and dance have a unique character that reflects the island's history and culture. However, the arrival of Europeans had a devastating impact on the native Hawaiian population. Diseases brought by Europeans decimated the population, and the native people were forced to adapt to the new social, economic, and political systems imposed by the colonizers. Today, both Alaska and Hawaii have significant native populations, and efforts are being made to preserve and promote their cultures. Native Alaskans and Hawaiians have legal rights and protections that recognize their unique cultural heritage and their relationship to the land. From the icy wilderness of Alaska to the tropical paradise of Hawaii, these two states are integral parts of the United States. Let's take a closer look at why they're so important today. Alaska, also known as the Last Frontier, is a vast and rugged land that is home to some of the most pristine wilderness areas in the world. It's no surprise that this unique landscape draws adventurers and nature enthusiasts from all over the world. But Alaska is more than just a playground for outdoor enthusiasts. It is also a vital source of oil and gas, providing over 10% of America's domestic oil production. The state's strategic location on the edge of the Arctic makes it an important location for national defense and military operations. And let's not forget about Alaska's unique ecosystems, which are a vital source of scientific research and conservation efforts. Moving over to Hawaii, we find a completely different landscape. With its white sandy beaches, turquoise waters, and lush vegetation, Hawaii is a tropical paradise that attracts millions of visitors each year. But Hawaii is more than just a tourist destination. Its location in the middle of the Pacific Ocean makes it an important center for commerce and trade with Asia and other Pacific Rim countries. Hawaii is also home to a large military presence, with important military installations like Pearl Harbor and Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. And let's not forget about Hawaii's unique culture, which blends native Hawaiian, Asian, and American influences to create a truly unique and vibrant society. What do you think is the most interesting aspect of Alaska and Hawaii's history and their importance to the United States today? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. We will meet you soon in a new video. Until then, stay happy and take care of yourself.